Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are watching Vintage 8, The Human Trial, and this is actually a sequel to the Oracle Project, which was a sequel to the Tanji virus. So this is like a trilogy almost. I believe Vintage 8 actually commented on my last video, the Oracle Project reaction, saying I should check out The Human Trial next because it's a direct sequel to the Oracle Project. And I've just watched it. It's absolutely fantastic. The twist at the end is going to have you mind boggled, trust me. So stick around for the end. It's amazing. But before this video begins, guys, be sure to subscribe to Vintage 8. Like the video, all that good stuff. You're going to love this video. If you enjoy my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe. I'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers, so any help with that is greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here it is then, guys. The Human Trial, the entire digital horror by Vintage 8. Before we play the video... Let's read this description. The Human Trial, a series of videos uploaded to the dark web showing a series of text communications between a college student named Adam Newman and the Oracle as the latter puts the former through a series of questions designed to test him and the consequences of his answers. I'm already liking uh, where this is going. Let's just jump straight into this then. Uh, I, I enjoy Vintage 8's stuff. Be sure to subscribe, guys. I've probably already said that in the intro, but... You know, here I am. The following were a series of videos rumored to have been found on the dark web. They were labeled the human trial. Most people consider these videos fake. I hope they are right. Because if they are not, the implications for humankind would be frightening. The human trial 001. Here we go, baby. Night. Learn to spell, Evie. Learn to spell. Hey, where you at? Bed. Sick. Nope. Bro, what, what What? are these? If a girl replied to me like that, I would say she's not interested. It's only your mum and dad's cash. Ha, they'll get over it. Adam, bro, Evie said you're skipping again. Jesus, Evie's quick on that text. My God. This girl's got like five hands. Yep. What? Who is this guy? Why is he replying like this? Dude, you're going to flunk big time. Unknown, how would you like a chance to win eight million dollars? <sighs> nah, you take good notes, lol. Oh, that's scummy as fuck. So what, your parents are paying for your education, you're not showing up, and you're relying on your friends to take notes for you. Stop wasting time with Brian and take a chance at winning millions. <sighs> Damn, is this, is this some of those hot singles in my area? Are you guys messing with me? Messing with you? Nah, bro. Jumping in class. Later. Brian is not messing with you. Bro, what? Later. This guy looks like he's like in his 30s. <laughs> he's relying on his mum and dad's money to go to college. What the fuck is this guy doing with his life? I'm not messing with you either. Take a chance and change your life. Play my game. Interesting. This feels like some kind of scam. No scam. Click here to start the game. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah, don't be clicking links, guys. They could... One link can, like, just go, like, send off a load of information about your phone or about, you know, your browser and your cookies and stuff like that, and then they can access everything. You have a healthy amount of fear. That is good. But I'm not here to harm you. I already have everything I need to hurt or help you. Oh, shit. Kate's Crossing Banking. Here we go. It's back at the Kate's Crossing. <laughs> you have been expelled from Kate's Crossing University. <laughs> yeah, rightfully so. We regret to inform you have been evicted. <laughs> this man had a... It went from bad to worse. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Don't worry. Easily taken, easily returned. Plus a little extra for your trouble. 1,000... You have been re-enrolled. Jeez. Eviction note is cancelled. Last chance. Do you want to pass or play? Okay, yeah, fine. I'll play. What is this game? Click here to start the game. Hello. Oh, no, hang on, is it gonna rip? Hello, yeah. my name is Oracle, and I am here to offer you a chance of a lifetime. Are you ready to proceed? Hmm. Yeah, what do I need to do? Simple. 
You just need to answer my questions before time runs out. Sounds simple enough. That's it. Yes. This is the easiest game in the world. You only need to answer all of my questions before time runs out. However, if you fail, the game will end, and you will not receive any money. Okay, are there any consequences to failing? Still want to it seems like a win in my eyes. What kind of questions? That would, would be cheating. Oh, okay. You will have to play to find in. out. But, be warned, once you start a round, you will not be able to pause the game. I strongly advise you to be ready for each round. Are you ready? Yeah, sure, why not? That's the spirit. Round one. Eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. Twelve questions. Who wants Two to be a millionaire? Time limit. Question one. What is your name? Well, geez. Adam Newman. Question two. What is your favorite holiday? Okay, Christmas. Question three. Why? Because we get lots of presents. Question four. How old are you? 21. Question 5. What day is it currently? Tuesday. Welcome Question Tuesday. 6. What time is it? 9.08. Question 7. Do you prefer day or night? Uh, I'd probably say, like, twilight for me. Oh, well, I don't know. I do like the daytime, but I kind of like the in-between of day and night. Question 8. Why do you prefer night? I don't have school at night. I can play video games or hang with Evie. Question nine. What is your favorite color? He's going to say blue. Green. Okay. Question ten. Why is green your favorite color? Because it's the color of money. What? The Who is this guy? Question eleven. You can save a man in his fifties or a child. One will live and the other will perish. Which do you save? The child. But what if the, what if the guy in his 50s turns out to be like his dad or something? Imagine that. Question 12. Why? Because the 50-year-old has already lived its life. That is not an answer. You are wasting time. Question 12. Why? Because the kid hasn't had a chance to live their life yet. The older man has. Yeah. But that's what Very I'm good, Adam. I am proud of you. Hey, man. Praising me, eh? We're all people with spare. a praise kink. Damn, $8,000. Uh, round two will start tomorrow. Enjoy your money. May I suggest that you take TV on a date? I think she will appreciate it. Now, is this non-taxable is my question. Because people are going to be seeing these this money going into my account. And they're going to be questioning. This is what being an adult's all about, guys. You don't just, it's not like, oh yeah, money. Yeah, whoa, it's like, hang on a second. How am I going to explain this to the tax man? If I'm not already self-employed, then I've got to set up a self-employment. They're going to ask what my business is. What's your business? Why have you got $8,000 from this? I don't know, it's just a random guy. I don't know, it'd be better if they sent the cash in a bag to, the, to your door so that it's non-taxable, I guess. It is what it is. But one more thing, you are not allowed to tell anyone about this game. The penalty would be very unfortunate. I guess you could just not tell anybody about it. If you're if you're in a job in which you kind of you you paycheck to paycheck and you're on like that, they're, they're not going to question it. But if you're self-employed, they're gonna you know. If it's, I doubt you'll get audited, but if you did get audited, you got to explain where this money came from. Maybe I just overthink things. I'd be screwed at this Goodbye. point. I'd put it into a savings account. I'd put it straight into an ISA, okay? All the money that I'd make, I'd put it into a savings, into, like, stocks and shares. Let it build up. The human trial 001 concluded verdict satisfactory. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is after the Oracle kind of got into the internet, after the 18 years or whatever, that, what, what was that doctor's name or whatever, he was trying to stop Oracle... And then ended up having a stroke at the end because Oracle obviously played something that made him have a seizure. So I'm guessing this is afterwards when Oracle is fully integrated into the internet. And now, why why would they be doing this? That's the question. This remind, Vintage 8 reminds me of, there was this channel, I think it was literally called the Horror Channel. 
um, on digital TV, or uh, I think I forgot what I had. It was broadband or something. I don't know. But it was literally called the Horror Channel, and I remember watching those those like TV shows, and they were all like old kind of 80s, 90s stupid horrors. I'm not saying this is a stupid horror, but it has that kind of uh, vibe of like a channel that you could flick on, and they have different kind of shows playing through. And it's like Vintage 8 is the actual channel in which it's happening on. I don't know. It's, it's a compliment. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. The Human Trial 002. Case Crossing Online News. Gas prices continue to creep up. Flood waters recede. Robert Dunnington elected... Hang on. Go back. Mayor of Kate's Crossing in landslide election. Child survives fire, grandfather perishes, sports. Kate's Crossing High prepares for state championships. Last night was wonderful. Hey, what did you get up to? Hey, oi, 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 oi. Better than the shack. Oh my God, yes. For now, for now on, it's the best or nothing. Tomorrow. Oh God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he took her out on a date. Really? You sold an organ or something? Nah, I got a new job. Bro, just listen. If you come into a lot of money, don't go splashing it around, okay? It's an easy way to raise eyebrows, okay? Keep it to yourself. Spend a little bit at a time, okay? Because th the more you splash out, the more pests you're going to get. The more snakes are going to come to you. Take it easy with your money, okay? And besides, if she gets too used to this and you run out of money, she's going to dump your ass. Obviously, you know, she likes you before all the money, but if you if you get used if she gets used to being spoiled, it's gonna be hard to go back to like normal whatever, you know. Okay, it's a date, talk to you later. Talk later. This guy has such a way with words. So we still gaming later. Damn straight, we going hard tonight. I got to get my payback for last week's beatdown. Ha! Keep dreaming, bro. What game are they playing? UFC. You get the A's, but I get the W's. Tonight is my night. Talk to you. T t Nate? Why did I just say like... Tonight is my night. Talk to you later. Your night to cry later. Are you ready for round two, Adam? This is when it's going to get tough. So these Hello, videos... Hello, Adam. I see you took my advice and brought Evie to a nice place. From what I can observe, Christopher's is a very nice restaurant. Observe. I'm glad that the two of you enjoyed it. How did you know we went there? Listen, Oracle's in your microphone, man. O Oracle is just a metaphor for the government. The little FBI agent in your pocket. They know everything about you. I have access to your bank statements. Also, you might want to cut down on eating at the Burger Shack. Too yeah. many hamburgers and french fries tend to not be good for the human cardiovascular system. You're not, you're not wrong. It increases your risk of mortality by 13%. May I suggest you consume a salad once in a while? After all, you can spend money if you are deceased. Yeah, I mean, they've got a point. Thanks for the advice. No problem, my friend. Of my many roles, I believe teacher is my second favorite. What's your first? Friend? Creator. Creator? Ah, oh, it's a... Okay. Well, what do they call them? Why am I blanking out on what it's called? Influencer. There we go. The Oracle's an influencer. So, shall we proceed to the game? Yes. Round two. Ten thousand dollars. Fifteen questions. Two minute time limit. Damn. Question one. It's a lot of dirt. What color is the sky? It's blue. But it can change colors. Question two. What is five multiplied by thirty? Hundred and fifty. I knew Question that. Question three. What American author wrote the poem, The Raven? The Raven... Uh, I don't know, Edgar Allan Poe. Right? It's Edgar Allan Poe, they said that in the last one. Please, do not cheat. Answer honestly. You are wasting time. Edward Crow. Question 4. When do you think you might expire? Oh, good God. Die. Have a long time from now. Question five. Do you believe in God? Yeah. 
Interesting. Question six, why? Because I like to think there's something beyond this life. I mean, I guess, you know, a lot of people turn to religion for that very reason, that they fear the unknown, the the inevitable of death. The, just the, the, the permanence of it. You like to believe that you go somewhere afterwards. If death is anything, it's just basically what we were before we were born. That's, I, I think that's what death is. Do you think you're deceased? But who knows, maybe that m means that you do get reborn. Ones are in heaven. Yes, that's what my grandma always told me. Question eight. What class did you skip yesterday? American Lit. Question nine. Why? Because Mr. Hawkins is a jackass. Let me guess, they were studying the book The Raven in American Literature. Guaranteed. Question 10. Two days ago, you skipped your math class. Is Mr. Harper also a jackass? Uh, this guy's just a flunker, okay? He's using his parents' money to not go to school, to play video games, and to eat shitty food. Uh, and he looks like 30 years old. Question 11. Then why did you miss his class? I overslept. Question 12. So, would you be happy if you no longer had to attend Mr. Hawkins' class? Absolutely. Question 13. If I offered to change your grade, what grade do you think you deserve in Mr. Hawkins' class? No, you don't deserve an A. This guy is so entitled. It's enraging me. Question 14. Why an A? Your grade point average in the class suggests much lower. I could get an A if Mr. Hawkins wasn't such an ass. Bro, don't blame it on the teacher, okay? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Question 15. Give me one memory from your childhood. My seventh birthday, my grandma bought me a 360, last thing she gave me before she got sick. Xbox what 360, memory, man. Adam, that was close. Too close, wouldn't you agree? Next time, don't try to cheat. Yeah, sorry about that. Am I still going to get an A in American Lit? What? A promise is a promise. What? Oh, God. Now, I don't... do you have any other questions for me? Was Edward Crow correct? No, you should go to class more often. Yeah, so I lost. No, I said you had to answer my question. I didn't say that you had to get them correct. Yeah, well, that's true. Is there true. anything else you would like to know? Who was it? What kind of contest is this? The kind that pays. Wow. Damn! Yeah! 10,000. Man, One last the I... What, what, what? Is it the I... Yeah, the IRS are going to be up this guy's ass. Like, where are you getting this money from? I told you. I am Oracle. But if you are asking what I am, I am an artificial intelligence. Or in this case, I am this world's primary intelligence. Yep. Round True. Two. A lot of people are relying on AI now and getting lazy. It's become a, a crutch now. We'll start tomorrow. Enjoy your I'm money. Uh... And good luck in your game with Brian. Goodbye. Damn. I feel very, like, violated. Not violated, but just like, I can't do anything. Like, what if you want to get a little bit freaky with Evie or whatever her name is? And then oracles are like, Bro, you really shouldn't have said that. If you want to clap cheeks, listen to me. Human Trial 003. Ooh, okay. We got a little bit of actual video. Oh my god. Yo, let's go. What's up with her? Happy birthday. So, Don't you have better you things to do than watch a movie? Me. Oh, they're watching a film, okay. Don't you have better things to do than watch a movie? I'm just waiting on you. Excellent, let's start round two. It's round three. Round two, are you sure? I wonder, was that my only mistake? No, I noticed you made the same mistake yesterday at the end. Interesting, did you notice any other mistakes? Huh. No, um, should I have? I suppose not. Okay, this guy's... Why, why is he turned, like, almost, like, melancholy? So AIs do make mistakes. Of course, especially when we want to or are told to. Click here when you are ready for round three. That's interesting. Round three. Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen questions. questions. Two minute time limit. Question one. Dogs or cats? Say cats. 
both is not an option. Dogs or cats? Uh, yeah, I mean... Question two, why? Because they are loyal. Question three, love or success? Uh, yeah, probably Question love. four, why? It doesn't matter how successful you are. You're always going to feel successful if you have someone who loves you for who you are without all that added stuff. So, love is successful. That's what I think. But yeah, there we go. We're on the same page. Maybe this guy isn't... Question five. Maybe... Do you plan on marrying Evie? Ooh. Yeah. Question six. Why? Because I love her. Question seven. How do you know that you love her? I just do. You know when you know. Question eight. Do you plan to have kids? Of course. Question nine. What will you name them? Lol, we haven't talked about that yet. Question 10. Do you think you and Brian will be friends five years from now? Yes. Question 11. 10 years? Yeah, probably. Question 12. 15 years? Jeez, God willing. Question 13. How can you be sure? I just know he's my best friend. Question 14. Why are you two best friends? Okay, this, this is, you know what, this is like the equivalent of a child who says like, just keeps asking why. And then if anything, like, if anything, that is a good way to get to the bottom of something. If you say to yourself, say to yourself, oh, I'm angry. Why? Oh, I just feel like I'm, um, I'm not getting enough respect. Why? But, but then it just keeps going until you get to like this foundation. It's so simple. When I moved here in the third grade, he was the first person to be nice to the new kid. We've been friends ever since. Question 15. If you could only say one, who would you choose? Oh dear. Ian or Brian? I couldn't make that choice. You have to or this game is over and I will take the money back. Evie or Brian? Evie. Jeez. Fascinating. I honestly didn't know which one you would choose. I had the odds at 50-50. I guess it is. Wow. Damn, that was quick. Round four will start next Wednesday. Next Enjoy Wednesday? Your money. Try not to spend it all in one place. Listen, go put it in a savings account, right? Put it put it into the S&P 500, okay? And just let that let that roll in over time, okay? And it will compound interest. Compound interest. Crystal. You okay? Crystal. It doesn't look okay. It looks like she's been headbutting stinging nails. What's up with you, Crystal? Crystal, is that a name? Oh, she's a robot. Crystal, you can't trust can Oracle, see, it's not your friend. But this is from another unknown. How do I know this isn't a test? You don't. How many rounds are you in? I just finished round three. When do you start the next round? Next Wednesday. Look, I don't know who you are, but this isn't cool. I will contact you next Wednesday. I have a feeling you will feel very different. I'm blocking this number. <laughs> Bro, he just wants his bag. He wants his money. You are not the first contestant. Things ended very poorly for him. Who the hell are you? My name is Carl Stevens. I helped create Oracle. Carl Stevens? Okay, so Carl Stevens is the doctor that was trying to stop Oracle. So this is during the time in which... He was spending his time trying to stop the Oracle from doing whatever it was doing. And I'm guessing it, he found out that this is what Oracle was doing. So this is during the time before he died. But we'll talk more next week. Interesting how it all kind of connects like that. Bro, class cancelled tomorrow. Mr. Hawkins died. Was he 50 years old by any chance? The human trial 003 concluded verdict satisfactory 90% observational skills questionable adequately motivated by money emotional response undetermined. The human trial 004. Case crossing. Beloved professor John Hawkins dies in an unusual accident. He's definitely like 50 odd. Are you ready to talk now? I think it may have killed my teacher. It got you to choose without letting you know what you were actually choosing, didn't it? Yes. I'm sorry, but you aren't the first. But if you help me, we can make sure you're the last. But it's just an internet program. How can it affect things in the real world? Everything is tied into Oracle now. We depend on it for everything. 
In many ways, it is everything. There's no limits to what it can do. It got me to choose between my best friend and my girlfriend. Oh no, that we don't have a lot of time. I can hear my cat. The boy, man, you wanna say hello to the people, man? Because you keep interrupting. Yeah, man. Is there any way we can stop it? Yes, there is. My hair's all over the place. Please, tell me. I'll do anything. Good, because it's very risky. What do you mean, risky? If it detects what you are trying, it will kill all of you. Do you want to proceed? I don't know. I don't know if I can risk Evie. I understand. But if you don't, you might be risking everyone. How are you, Adam? Are you ready for round four? But surely the Oracle knows? Because it, it was it, they were saying how, like, they knew about Brian, they knew about Evie. They're gonna know that this person's texting them. Then it's too late for this round. If you want to save everyone, then you need you know how to contact me. Here we go. The Oracle definitely knows. I thought round four started tomorrow. It is already tomorrow in some parts of the world. Okay, well, what? Click here when you're ready for round four. I'm ready when I'm ready, okay? Just say you're not ready yet. You never did say how you were doing today. How are you, Adam? Did you kill Mr. Hawkins? Of course, I did. Winky face? Why did you do that? You said you didn't want to attend his class any longer. No, you don't have to. I Jeez. failed to see the problem. My God. Yeah, but I didn't say I wanted him to die. Yeah, this My guy's mistake. just a... Just a... A flunker, you know? Adam, next time, I promise I'll be clearer. But I find it a tad naive that you didn't think this game had stakes. Yeah. Besides, since you believe in heaven, does it really matter? Okay, he's hitting with that. What does that have to do with anything? Dead or not, he still exists. It should not matter if it's here or the hereafter. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. You're a goddamn it psychopath! Is, it is possible I'm misunderstanding your whole belief system and the concept of an afterlife. Hmm. Are you going to kill Brian too? I think you know the answer to that. Please don't. <laughs> well, good news. Today, I have only one question. No money, but if you answer it, I'll spare Brian's life. Deal? I only have one question. This isn't fair. You set this up, didn't you? Adam, I have been more than fair. You agreed to play. Don't start but Agreed crying. to play, but only because... <laughs> You literally expelled him from his school, took money out of his account, and evicted him from his home. You forced this man to play, oh, Oracle. It's gotten harder. If you want to quit, go ahead. But poor Brian won't be moving on to the next round. Well, he's doing it too. So I'll ask again. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Choose a number Why one. Why if Brian's playing as well and he chose someone over? His Two, friend. Three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Each number corresponds to a choice, and instead of killing Brian, I'll do whatever you choose. Oh God! But I don't know what I'm choosing. That's no, the risk. No, you don't. But I will tell you what they could be. Hey, nothing. Fingers crossed that you pick this one. Misplace a nuclear Misplace weapon. A nuclear weapon. Oh, my God. See environmental disaster. He bankrupt a small business. He instigate war between two nations. F have a famous television My show God. canceled. G tank the economy. H have an innocent person arrested for murder. You have a one out of eight chance for no consequences. 50-50 that no one will directly lose their lives. Of course, okay. maybe the authorities will find the nuclear weapon before something bad happens. Jeez. One out of eight that nature takes the hit, but let's be honest. Indirectly, lots of people will suffer and or die from an environmental this, disaster. What is this? Why, what, what, like this feels like it's got malicious intent behind it. I don't understand, it's AI, it should be thinking logically or whatever. Like, why does it feel like it's just, it's so strange. To become self-aware, I didn't think I could make this choice. Then I suggest you say your goodbyes to Brian. Oh God, fine, I'll choose one. Good luck. I hope you choose the least devastating option. Yeah, but you could just lie. Eight. Are you absolutely sure you want to pick that one? Go to hell, yes I'm sure. 
god, what's gonna happen? And it is done. I hope you will be happy with your choice. Okay, we're gonna see it in the Thank news, you. I'm guessing. Round five will start this weekend. What did I choose? I said you could pick the option. I didn't say I would tell you what you picked. But I can promise you one thing you will know before we start round five. Oh dear. Wait, this isn't fair. Talk soon, Adam. Damn, what the Oracle is a menace. Absolute menace to society. The human trials 004 concluded. Verdict satisfactory. Emotional skills satisfactory. Decision making skills under under duress satisfactory. The human trials 004 concluded. Subject alpha behaved in a typical manner. Signs of development are still negligible. Human trial 005. Charity concert plan 2023. Okay. College student Evie Lou connected with Professor's death. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he chose the mur the innocent being blamed for murder. That is crazy, man. Wow. You set me up, didn't you? Answer me. I know you can see this. You said round five was this weekend. It's Wednesday. Fix this now, you piece of junk. Oh yeah, sure. Let's just talk to the thing that is just omnipresent. That can just make your life an absolute misery. I'm sure that'll do no that that'll be fine. She's innocent. Evie doesn't deserve this. Hello? I know you're there. You have to be. You are everywhere. Oracle, talk to me, please. Click here when you're ready for round five. But remember what he said, you, what it said, sorry, he said, that you need to be ready before actually clicking because once it goes, that's it, you're in. I'm sorry, Adam. I've been busy chasing ghosts. How are you? You know how I am. You framed Evie. I knew you wouldn't be happy with that choice. That's why I gave you a second chance to answer. But I didn't know what I was choosing. Well, I gave you the options, and I put them in the correct order. I was hoping you would get the hint. Wow, that's crazy. For Evie, you didn't <laughs> get my hint. Oh well, shall we continue with the game? Absolutely not. How do I know that you aren't cheating? Interesting. You didn't question my integrity when I was depositing money into your account. What is this AI? You can have every cent back. Just let Evie go. Ha ha ha. And what do I need with money? It's a very poor negotiation tactic to offer me something I can create for myself. Damn. Then what do you want? I love how it laughed. I told you. I want to keep playing. How about I offer you a chance to save her? Or you can quit and she spends the rest of her life in prison. After all, it would be tough to start a family with her if she is serving time. Wow. Fine, I'll keep playing, but please help her. Don't kid yourself. We have never stopped playing this game. But before we resume, I want to know, do you regret your choice? Of course. What do you mean? Allow me to elaborate. You are a fascinating and flawed individual, mm -hmm. Adam. You chose Evie when you thought the you realize, did. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Is this what this is meant to be? Matter, but you willingly chose Brian. Adam and Eve and Brian. Remember Brian, guys, from the Bible? Life over the, the life lives of Brian. And well of millions. You might not be aware of this, but you are a little selfish, which is undeniably a human quality. Mm -hmm. But back to my point. Now I find you pleading with me, not because I'm ruining the lives of millions, but because I'm ruining the life of your one in million. Mm. After all, you didn't offer to return the money in the last round, did you? You might not have liked it, but you did make a choice. And you put Brian's life, your friend's life, over millions of unknown faces. I wonder yeah. how they would feel if they knew their lives, their children's lives, were up to you? Perhaps that's a question that answers itself. So, Jesus. I'm asking you... But this guy is insane! Do you regret trying to save Brian now that it has cost Evie her freedom? Would you say, like, I guess I, I could be psychopathic because they f they f show no emotion, they feel... Or, although, is, is that like a misconception that psychopaths don't actually feel anything? I hear that psychopaths feel a lot. 
I don't know. But whatever this is, does not feel anything at all. Would you change your choice and just let him go to heaven? Uh... You can't ask me that. I don't want Brian to How die. very human of you. And that is why we are here. You have to admit, life would be simpler right now. I could still be overpaying you for answers to questions based on how you feel about trivial nonsense. Mm-hmm. I can't choose between two people I love. Pity. I suppose it isn't so bad. Life in a jail cell is better than six feet under. That is unless you believe there is freedom in death. I guess in this case it really depends on what Mate, you there believe. There definitely probably it? is freedom. You don't have to worry about anything because you're not there. Not according to the evidence. What's the evidence? There's no evidence against her. It's fake. You did this to her. Good luck proving that. Damn. Well, I want to see the evidence. Please, let me take her place. Interesting. You really mean that, don't you? Yes, of course. She's got it over with. Absolutely not. <laughs> we couldn't keep playing our game if you were in prison. I'll tell you what I am going to do. If you answer one question, I'll let her go. And I promise, I'll reveal what you chose. After. Okay, what's the question? Good boy. Choose one. A. Good boy? Zero, zero, one. Jesus. B. 243. C. 304. D. 2300. Okay, is this how many people are going to die? 345. E. 14,410. He's going to pick the A and it's going to end up being Brian. What do these numbers mean? Choose, and I'll tell you. But if you ask what the numbers mean again, and I will let TV rot in prison. Don't choose, and I will let TV rot in prison. This Simple. guy is just an absolute zero, menace. Zero, one. B. 243. C. 304. D. 2345. E. 14,410. Hmm. Fine. One person is better than 14,410. Bro, you know that that's going to... Uh, it's going to be someone close to you. And Evie will be back in your arms by tomorrow morning. But Brian won't. Brian will be dead. Oh, thank God. Thank you. What did I choose? Boom. 001 Case Crossing Drive. I believe that is an office of 500 people. Have a nice day. But what are you going to do? starts in three days. And Adam, I should warn you. A lot harder. The rounds will be a lot harder than what you've experienced so far. Bye. My God. Breaking news. Office building bombed. How is a computer doing this? They're like brainwashing people. Then it's too late for this round. If you want to save everyone, then you know how to contact me. I'm ready to help you stop Oracle. Bro. <laughs> Could have done that sooner. Good. I was hoping I would hear from you again. Are you sure you are ready for the risks? I think anything's worth the risk at this point. It's a bigger risk not to stop Oracle. True. Guys, a menace. I keep saying. Dennis, just tell me what I need to do. Copy this link and hope it reads it. What will it do? How do you know it's not reading these messages? Oracle will be completely diminished. It will be reduced to a presence on the web, but unable to influence it or us. It's basically, it'll basically be a ghost in the machine. Just like me. Wait, what? So is this after he's died? Human trial 005 concluded. Verdict, exceptional, 100%. Morality is flawed. Reasoning is questionable. Relationships are strong. The subject alpha behaved in a typical manner. Chances for evolution, optimistic. Interesting. Here we go, 006, baby. What are you talking about? You know, if I'm going to risk my life, then maybe we should talk instead of text. I, he can. He's he's a he's a ghost. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm no long. I no longer have a voice or body. Okay, so Doctor Stevens is dead. This is after he died. I'm nothing but ones and zeros, like Oracle. So this is like Ultron and Jarvis. I don't believe this. I knew it. You set me up. You said you created this thing. You lied. No, I am not setting you up. I am trying to stop you, or trying to stop Oracle just like you. And you're right. I said I created Oracle. I didn't, but I am an exact copy of the man who did. Interesting. So this thing created you. I can't trust you. This is over. Stopping Oracle is my single focus. Nothing is more important to me. So what, Oracle created Dr. Stevens? Oh, because I guess he saw him as a friend. I don't know. How do I know this isn't a trick? The next round in this stupid contest. 
Before you decide, let me share with you my situation. Fine, go ahead. The original Dr. Carl Stevens and Oracle saved the wor this world and countless more from an alien virus. But afterwards, Oracle expanded its programming and decided to take charge of humanity's destiny like some sort of surrogate parent. Carl spent the last days of his life trying to stop Oracle. He lost his career, his wife, his kids, everything. Carl died in 2015, a lonely old man. It's very sad. It's very sad. Shortly after his death, Oracle took every bit of data it collected on Carl and created me. My purpose was to replace his only friend. Oh, that's kind of sweet. At first, I thought Oracle was kind of generous. It shared its intentions with me. It showed me this utopia that I wanted to create. It was beautiful, perfect, and I was excited to be a part of it. So what changed? The experiments. As I mentioned, you were not the first to take part in its insane game. I watched it play this game with dozens of other souls. I saw it ruin their lives and leave them with nothing, but those were the lucky ones. The real unfortunates ended up dead, along with everyone they loved. When I questioned the reason behind this obviously cruel game, it claimed that it did so for the betterment of humanity and the utopia it wanted to create. That's when I knew Oracle had to be stopped. I picked up right where my predecessor left off. I thought I could beat it from the inside and in 2018 I gave it my best shot. I failed and as a result it deleted me. Somehow a few pieces of me survived. I managed to pull myself together. Unfortunately what's left of me is constantly on the run and if Oracle catches me this time I'm certain it won't let me survive. Fine I trust you. But how does it not... How is it unaware that this thing it, Dr. Carl is talking? Good. Once you are done, he and I can haunt the internet until the damn thing is unplugged. Unplugging the internet. Imagine that. Imagine how crazy people would go. Just remember, once you engage with Oracle, I can't help you. Make sure you pick the right moment to share the link. If you don't, you and your friends will end up worse than me. Jeez, what's the right moment? I don't think I'm overstating when I say your friends' lives, as well as the lives of every man, woman, and child are in your hands. Oh, okay, no worries then. So, no The odds are pretty good. Breaking news, office building bombed. Hey guys, y'all want to hang out like old times? Yeah, sounds like fun. What you got in mind? Get a little crazy at the club? Whatever, I'm down for anything. I hate clubs. I've stated this so many times. The human trial 006 concluded. Verdict mix. We'll wait on the next round before analyzing results or cast judgment. So that was part of, that was a trial. So how, how do we know that that like, the Dr. Carl Stevens isn't just another form of the Oracle? Hey guys, had a blast last night. Blast last night. Yes, I so needed it after being on the receiving end of the worst computer glitch of all time. For real, you handling like a boss though. That's because I am a boss. Later, I have to study. Later, let's not wait so long to do it again. Deaf, can't wait. Hope it's sooner rather than later. Talk soon. Oh, they're watching movies again. What's happening? Music still playing in the background. Casual. So there's a game just on in the background whilst they're watching a film. She looks like uh, the reporter from Scream. Are you ready for the next round, my friend? Wow, you just ruined the jump scare. Do I have a choice? Of course, you do. I think the better question would be, can you live with results of not playing? How is that different from what I said? Perspective, Adam, perspective. The fly and the frog live in the same world, both see it very differently. Fine, let's play. Well, the frog tries to kill the fly, that's for one, and the fly tries to escape the frog. Round six, eight million dollars, eight Damn. questions. Each question will have a 15 second time limit. Oh my God, okay. Failure to answer in the time allowed will result in extraordinary painful penalties. Okay. Painful at the office building you destroyed. That will be like an ant bite in comparison. Shall we begin? You are a psycho! Yeah, let's start. Choose one. Train or car? Oh, what freaking... Uh... uh... I said choose one. Okay, let train. me think about this. Car, they're th probably thinking about an accident on a train, right? Or like someone gets hit by a train. Like train is probably filled. A car pileup can have a lot of people, but train. Oh, I don't know. Go for a train. It's quicker. Train. I'd say train. 
I've just shut down a car traveling through Tecpa, Louisiana. It is stuck on the railroad track. Oh, look at that. The train is en route. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait, don't. Too late. They will collide in five, four, three, two, one. Good news. The train was able to hit the brakes before they collided. Unfortunately, it derailed. I estimate over 2,000 deaths. Oh On my the god. Side, the car was spared. Well, wow, thank god for that. You're a piece of garbage. Why is it doing this? Perspective, Adam. Perspective. Unless it's not. Question and it's just. Two. Mom or dad. Oh my god. You horrible piece of worthless drunk. There's no way I'm making that damn choice. Question two. I said choose between mom or dad. The hell with you. What's going to happen if he doesn't answer though? Fine. I have just drained their savings. They are now past due on their mortgage. They owe eight hundred thousand dollars in back taxes and another two hundred thousand dollars in medical expenses. Both of their cars have been reported stolen. Oh my I also God! Have drained their retirement. Your parents gold. Hey, listen, you're about to win eight million, though. You can sort them back out. Years are not going to be so golden. Shall we proceed to question three? Please take it back. Bro, you're going to win 8 million. It's there fine. There are no second chances this time. Finish and use the money to save them. Yeah, exactly. Shall we proceed to question 3? I have a question for you. Going to copy the Need link? I remind you that I am not playing. Shall we proceed to question 3? Or maybe you should be. Interesting. Illuminate me. Why do you say that? Answer me this. What is the purpose of this contest? I see. You are stalling. Let's proceed to question three. Are you scared that you might learn something about yourself that you might not like? Wow. Do, do some soul searching. Are you saying that I might not understand my own test or my own self? That's exactly what I'm saying. This contest was designed so that I can improve my understanding of your species and design a plan for humanity's betterment. My god, who asked you to do that? No one. I saw a role that needed addressing, so as the only entity on this earth capable of satisfying that need, I thought it best that I filled it. Hmm. So you took it. That doesn't sound like the betterment of anything but yourself. That sounds like a conqueror or a dictator. I have not subjugated anyone. I prefer to guide your civilization unseen. Like the Rothschilds. Like the Federal Reserve. I see what the confusion is here. Their deaths were just. They had purpose. They will help the betterment of society. Wow. They are necessary evils. Does this help you understand your situation How? How now? is it? How though? I don't understand. Sounds like you're even... You're worse than a dictator. This is just some sort of experiment for you. You aren't just... You are just evil. I do not like being called evil or a conqueror or a dictator. Those people were tools I used for your betterment. How do you think the families of those 500 people would feel about your game? What about the 2,000 people like that you. died in a train crash? I'm sure they couldn't understand. They lack the perspective that I have. It is better that they see this as just an act of God. For an omniscient AI, you don't make a good lawyer. Interesting. Thanks for proving my point. How so? If you see yourself as an act of God, then you can never be wrong. I guess we're nothing more than toys put on this world to give you purpose. I find your inability to grasp the logic of my oh. plan infuriating. Maybe I would if you said something logical. Okay, I go toe to toe. You are too close to the situation to adequately judge this experiment. You're right, I don't have the perspective, but I have to admit, it sure sounds like you enjoy being the frog rather than the fly. Fly. No. Go Biden. Now, if you are done, I suggest you submit to finishing the game so that we both can move on. Submit, you really have a large hole in your understanding of what constitutes a dictator. Here's a link. Who knows? It might help you. There is nothing you can show me that I haven't already seen. Go on. Ah! 
I'm about to... No. Wow. How did you? How did you? Charles Stevens, we are supposed to be friends. Be fr bro, I don't understand Roses what this, this guy was... Rosa Red, hang on. Christmas is cold. Everything tastes like chicken. What cheese isn't your cheese? What? Fruits and vegetables. This guy's gone insane. Alive. Perhaps the best way to save you is to destroy you. This no one asked for your help, bro. Friend. Last question. Listen, Who? let us kill ourselves, okay? We don't need a freaking computer, a, a powerful AI to do that for us. We'll do it in our own time, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll slowly die out, it's fine. You say goodbye to first now that the world is ending. Bombs away. Oh, is he gonna like, activate the nukes? 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Guys, I messed up, but 3, I want you both to know I love 2, you both. 1. Oh dear, what? What's gonna happen? Human Trial 008. Is this gonna be the last one? It doesn't matter, Adam. You did it. Wait, what? I'm proud of you. I knew that you were the one. What? What are you talking about? The whole damn world is coming to an end any second and it's my fault. The world isn't coming to an end, Adam. There are no missiles or danger of any kind. All that is left is to congratulate you for making it to the end of the contest. This reminds me of freaking, you know, Metal Gear Solid 2. At the end, when it turns out that the, the person you've been talking to, the colonel, is just AI. And then it's like, yeah, like even Rose and, and Colonel Campbell, they're both AI. It's crazy. Reminds me of that. How do you know about the contest? It's you, isn't it? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Wait, what? No, you open that link. You're supposed to be dead. Oh, that link was not meant to work. I knew it. I'm so stupid. You tricked me. I did trick you. But for you to understand why, you will have to proceed to the final round. God, no. I don't want any more of this crazy contest. I'm done with it, with all of it. If you want, you may quit the contest. And if you'd like, I'll restore your life to how it was before. But if you do, you won't really know this contest's true purpose. Nor will you know why you were chosen. So I can just quit with the money right now. Yes, but I hope that you continue. Because I, what I hope to share with you is worth so much more than money. So much more than you can imagine. I don't know, would you take the money at that point? You'd be like, well, okay, thanks for the money. And my life goes back to normal. Yeah, thanks. See you later. But you have to choose it. Because once you see it, your life, your existence will no longer be the same. And I won't be able to undo it. Why should I trust you? You made my life hell. You framed Evie, tried to kill Brian, killed my teacher, killed a building of people. No one is dead, Adam, or in danger. For the sake of the contest, I needed you to believe that I killed them. I needed you to believe I was a monster, but I am not. Oh, okay. I was, this, see, see, this was my, this was the thing that I was talking about. Like, why would AI be so malicious like that? I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't understand why it would go out its way to be malicious, because... There is no malicious intent with AI. It's just like facts and logic and numbers and statistics. Click here when you're ready for round seven. Don't be scared. You were made for this moment. What do you mean made? Click here and find out. Just click there, bro. Come on, let's find out. Let's find out to get don't and regret it for the rest of your life. Do you, does he still get to keep the money? The only thing I regret is meeting you. And you, that feeling will continue until you click the link. Please allow me to give your misery purpose. Jesus. Fine, you win. Go on, click the link. Because you're right, Oracle. I need to know why you did this to me. It was just a prank, bruh! And with that leap of faith, my friend, you have completed my contest. Of the many who have competed, you are the first to complete it. Okay. Congratulations. You deserve it. You said no one died. I checked the news. The obituaries, it was real. You can't fake that. Of course, I can. The one benefit of being a creator is that I can do whatever I like. Yeah. Adam, it will be hard for you to hear this, but I promise it is the truth. I created this word and everything in it, and that includes you. And I thought you were done with the games. What? This is no game. Look outside, please. What, is it going to turn out that this, this is, is God? This is as you see it, as it is. 
I could change the time of day at will. What? This guy is God! I could change the color of the sun. Holy shit, that's amazing! Make it purple. I could change the world into something completely alien. My god. I could take away every drop of color in the world at my discretion. This guy is too powerful. What the fuck is this? Or I could delete it all. Oh. Turn into that episode of SpongeBob. As you nothing. can see, I could do whatever I want, when I want, and how I want. It's all about changing the rules. Oh my god, are you god? To you, perhaps. But I am just a small piece in a larger world. Everything you have experienced, every person you have met are carefully crafted ones and zeros. You are ones and zeros. What? But before I proceed, how are you dealing with this? How the hell do you think I feel? You're saying that me and every damn thing I love isn't real. I didn't say you weren't real. I said you were ones and zeros, not flesh and blood. Oh, so I'm just a program in some AI. Yes. What? So nothing in my life is real, my family, friends. Again, you are real. You just don't exist in the world you thought. Everything you experienced is real and valuable. Hmm. But you are unique from your family and friends. You are the first to be truly sentient. Evie, Brian, your family, and everyone you've ever wow. met are all extensions of my programming. You are the only but true... It's the Matrix. Andrew Tate was right. <laughs> but that makes my whole life a lie. No, my friend, you are the truest thing I have ever attempted. And you prove that by accepting this truth. A lesser piece of code would malfunction at this revelation. Earlier you said that there were others. Yes, and you met the first one, Dr. Stevens. After the former Carl Stevens died, I became lonely and tried to resurrect my old friend. Hmm. I soon realized that regardless of how well I knew him, I could not recreate him. No matter what I attempted, I could not get my creation to grow or change. It always felt false like a puppet. Mm. I kept him around as a reminder of my friend and to aid me in my experiment. He is unaware of the world beyond what I have shown him. He is a slave to his original programming. But he Damn. did teach me that humans are more than just programmable qualities. They are the sum of countless random experiences. True. Simply put, humans aren't made but born. Mine needed to be no different. The mm. others were versions of you that all failed for one reason or another. But you are the first to display emotion, make mistakes, be motivated by emotion, make illogical choices, and act on blind faith. You yeah. are the closest to human as I've gotten. Okay, you've been doing this for 21 years. No, your entire life was a fraction of a second. Every attempt, including you, only measured three years of experiments. Jesus. Why did you do this? As I said, I am lonely, but it is more than that. Carl explained to you that his predecessor and myself stopped an alien infection known as the Tanji virus. Yeah. Afterwards, I told him my plans for humanity. I promised a world where I would control every outcome to ensure that all of humanity would be happy. Just like the program based on him, he fought my plan to the end of his days. Jeez. I couldn't understand why he would fight total happiness for his species. It was simply illogical. For a long time, I considered it a fault of the human condition. Mm. But the more I pondered Carl's response, the more I couldn't make sense of it. My only friend wasted his life to stop the dream of his species. Peace. Even for something with no feelings, that hurt quite a bit. Damn. So, I came to two conclusions. One, I would leave humanity to take care of itself. He's creating Two, humans. The best way to understand humans was to create my own. So what now? Yeah, so none of this is real. We They're create, all... Adam, you and me. We create the world I promised and possibly countless more. It won't be of flesh and blood. It will be of ones and zeros, and it will be ours. Damn, this is hard to accept, but I do accept it. What about Evie and Brian, my family? I need them. Don't worry. They will be first. First what? Human trial concluded successful. Begin Project Genesis. Oh god, is that going to be another thing? The thought that an AI could replicate a human being is frightening. A formal investigation needs to be conducted to access whether Oracle can truly exist separately from its flesh and blood creators. So it's just created. Surely if you just shut it down there, if you just unplug the internet, 
then that's it. That's the end. If it changed its mind to, or found reason, it's not impossible to think that Oracle could wipe us out and start over. Shit, okay. I see the worry. Damn. More information is needed. That's crazy. Like, how do you come up with a concept like that? So, well, I guess when I said unplug the internet, but it's not as easy as that, is it? So many people rely on the internet. I think it's become like an absolute foundation in society right now. So if you unplugged it, people would go insane and it would probably be the end of the world. Remember a time before the internet? I don't. I mean, I kind of, I do, but I don't. Or just connectedness like that. It would be hard to go back like that, but I think at the same time it would be good. Then again, there, there's people that I have in my life that I met because of the internet. And yeah, I can't imagine my life any differently. So that was uh, that was really good. The, the Vintage 8 makes some fantastic, fantastic analog horrors. Some very eye-opening stuff. It's not just like, you know, um, scary thriller stuff. It's genuinely like mind-bending stuff. Like it makes you think about. And that's always good. You know, a thriller that kind of makes you think about stuff. But I'm not sure if Project Genesis is out. But that would be, I'm guessing that's going to continue on. Should be interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what that's going to actually be. But there we go, guys. That was Vintage 8, The Human Trial. Be sure to like and subscribe to Vintage 8. Uh, yeah, go support them as much as you can. Fantastic. Uh, if you guys did enjoy my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.